This is my banded imitator. He's right underneath there. Not sure if I can get him. There he is. Pretty cool frog. There's his tank. We have Cristobal Pamillo. Not sure if they're out today. Anyway, there's our tank. Oh, there he is. In the back, just hopped away. Anyway, here's their tank. Pretty cool. We'll go down here. We have the Rentomia. Flavo Vitara. Uh, not sure. He's he's pretty shy, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get him on to camera today. Uh, but anyway, let me show you the terrarium. There it is. Yeah, Frantomia. Intramaculata Aikidos. And a view of his tank. Then we have uh, Ranatomia Variabilis. I know I just saw him in there a little while ago. There he is. Way up in the back. Where... There he is. Good view of their tank. Pretty simple. Then we have Ufraga Pamilio Cayo Diegoa and the Cayo Diagua is actually one of the shyest Pamilio I think I have in my entire collection. Uh, I don't really see him very often. But uh, that's his tank. Nice creeping fig growth in there at the top. You can see that. He's likely in there. His tank. Then we have all of the mantellas. So we have uh, mantella baseo. Move you their tank. And there. Oops. Sorry about that. New camera, so I'm getting used to it. There we go. Extremely overgrown. Then we have mantella. Arantianka, which is the golden mantilla. And those guys are pretty shy, too, honestly. All of our mantillas are pretty shy. But their tanks are pretty cool. There's his tank. We have a pond. Nice fern growth in there. And then we have Mantilla Veritas. You can see inside there. Their tank is pretty overgrown too. And then in here we have our offspring from mostly 
Sipalawini. Doesn't look like they have a very good view anywhere, so this is I think the best we're gonna get today. You can see them. Alright, let's move up here. This is an older tank, one of the originals. This is the Epirobedes Tricolor Santa Isabel. And uh, the tricolor. Let's see if we can find them. They're usually right out in front. Anyway, there's their tank. Seriously overgrown. <laughs> um, let's see, I think they're down deep in here. Oh, here's one right here. I'm like looking for him, and he's right in front of me. Pretty cool. Alrighty. That's the tricolor tank. Uh, next we have Renatomea Imitator Chizuda. We only have one Chizuda. We sold many of them, so this is their tank. It's really simple. He's actually almost always out now, which is kind of cool, because he's a pretty frog, but I don't know where he is today. But anyway, you can see his tank is very simple. And that's the Chizuda. Alright, now we have the Dendrobates Tinctorius Blue Cipollowini Parents. And you can see the Parents Terrarium. It hasn't changed very much within the past couple of years. And the Parents, I believe, are in their hut. Which I give them a minutes to pop out. They're usually in there. But you can see their tank is really nice. But you've already seen the uh, the offspring and they basically look the same as their parents, which is kind of awesome. Oh, there he is. Here's one of the blue Sepulveni parents. You can see there. They breed all the time. They're pretty awesome. I love them. Alrighty. Next we have... Tetrabasing Taurus and Trinella. You can see them there. And a view of their terrarium. I'm actually going to set this to autofocus now so I can... kind of give you a pretty cool view of their terrarium. Or maybe not, maybe no autofocus. Oh, there's both, actually. Give you a view of both of them. The pair. Pretty cool. Alright, then we have uh, the Dendrobait Sanctorius Alanus. View of their tank. Kind of see that. Alrighty, we have the Oyapak Ping Dorius. And there he is. Their tank has pretty much stayed the same. You can see that there. Alrighty, let's move down here. We have the Vitatus terrarium. You can see there. Usually you can scope out the Vitatus, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to today, so we're not going to spend too much time on them. 
here's some Vita uh, Truncatus offspring. You can see the Truncatus there. Pretty neat. Right. Here are the Truncatus parents. And just so uh, there he goes. Pretty shy, but nice terrarium. Alrighty. And then I'll show you the Anthonii terrarium. Pretty cool. And here's both uh Oyapok since they're both out. Alright, let's move on here. We have Dendrobate D's Centaurus Cobalt. Pretty cool. And their terrarium is very overgrown. But they seem happy and breeding, so. And pretty neat. Here we have our Powder Blue Centaurus. See him right here coming out to see us. It's the powder blue. And the other powder blue is probably in. Oh, he's right here. There he is. And a few of their tank. Alrighty, we'll open up this here. This is basically a free tank that we are waiting on occupying. And then this is another basically free terrarium. Alrighty, and then we'll come over here and we have my Uflaga Pumilio Salt Creek. Which I'm not sure if he is out or not, but the terrarium is pretty rad. You can see that there. He's usually out. He's actually pretty bold. But I don't see him today, so... There is a video that I just posted in 4K that you can watch a video of the Salt Creek. Alright, now we'll come over here. And it's not a dirt frog, but it's still pretty cool. This is the Adelopus Hugmoidi Nashua, or Nashua, I'm not actually sure how it's pronounced. But um, let's see if we can find them. You think he's in the back here? There, there he is. He's up at the top. Pretty cool. And the other guy is somewhere deeper inside, but nonetheless, this is the Harlequin Toad. Alrighty, and then we'll go over here last. We've got the Ranatomea. Summer Sai, Sauce, or Sauce, and I see one way in the back there. It's pretty dark. Let me see if I can brighten this a little bit here for you. Yeah, there we go. There he is. He's in the tube. Pretty cool. Their tank is actually pretty old, so you can get a view of their tank. It's the same as it was. Then we have the Baja Huyaga Pumili, uh, sorry, imitator. And there's one of them right there. Pretty 
There's quite a few in there. And a view of their tank. And then we have the Dendrobates Tinctorius Matecho. And they are always spending their time up top. I don't know why, but they are. There he is. The Matejo. Their tank has not changed in the years that we've kept it, and they've been pretty happy. And then next we have our Amirga Trivitata Greenback. As always, they are hiding because they are shy. But their tank is pretty awesome. You can see lots of overgrowing. We've got a pond down there. And usually we're able to at least to see him. I'm sure he's probably in the hut down there. But nonetheless, there's their tank. Pretty cool. Alright. We have our Lucamelis. Oh, there he goes. There's the other guy there. Pretty neat. And their tank has stayed the same, but just become overgrown. Close that up. And we'll come up here. We have probably heard these guys a little earlier in the video. The Ufaga Pumilio. Bastimentos, and there's one right in the back there. One of the Bastimentos. There's two. We have a pair. That was the female and the male. I'm not sure where he is. But a nice view of their tank there. And then we have the Ranatomia Sirensis. Penguana Orange, and they are up, scouring about the bromeliads, I'm sure, but uh, a view of their tank we can give you. Pretty awesome tank. Alrighty, and last but not least is my Ufaga. Sylvatica, San Lorenzo, and these guys are one of my favorites. As you can see, they've definitely been spending time in the pond. And I'm surprised they're not out. But they're pretty cool. And there's other videos of these guys online where you can check them out. And there, there's one on my channel you can see. But this is their tank. Pretty cool. Alrighty. And that will conclude a very, very long-awaited frog room tour. Thank you all for watching.